world hit musical and corporate wars, the back of the is near you. I need you to grab some goods. Rare ones, scandy rods. Fell into the hands of a junkie who's got no clue what they're worth. I couldn't bear to see them go to waste. Read the attachment and get to work. Nah, you're just jealous. Just got up a little earlier. Worked a little harder. Scandium rods. Oh, yeah? What about me? I don't need them. This whole goddamn building's going to shit. All of it. Pipes, power. Every other day, the elevator jams. That motherfucking elevator. How the fuck am I supposed to fix it if I ain't got no rods, eh? Your client even consider that? The fuck he say to you? This elevator, is it wired or pumped? What? Well, Motor's electric, with a speed reducer. 
Sounds like a non-conductive hitch. Insulation in the cables must have worn out and short served. Open a shut case. The fuck? You from maintenance or something? Nope. Third party sent me. He really wants those rods, Gaio. And here's the thing. You'll manage without him. Over there, take him. And then fuck off! It's about to explode.
We've just received word on a breaking story. A Kang Tao AD has crashed outside of Night City. The aircraft's thrusters were deactivated by sudden EMP discharge from a nearby damaged power station in Santa Domingo. The emergency landing attempt proved unsuccessful. The passengers who survived the crash landing were met by a band of marines. Fortunately, Kang Tao's surviving security personnel Fire freshly developed some tastes and let your tongue be amazed.
sensing an undocumented animal will increase to 40,000 euros. Thank you for tuning in to the N54 local news. Have a pleasant day. herself to express her undying gratitude to you for saving her ass. I was... I was only gone an hour. Checked your pulse? V... She's gone. How'd this happen? I don't know. Told you. Evie was lying in bed like always. When I went out, and I got back to... <laughs> Fuck. If I'd just known, I'd have... Gotta do something with her. Don't want any trouble. I'm calling the badges. Can you carry her to the bed? As if that'll change anything. Not sure we should move her before the badges get here. She's just another dead whore to them. Nobody will care. The least we could do is treat her with some dignity. Yeah, I, I need to report an accidental death. 
North side, Jackson Street. No. No imminent danger. <laughs> Suicide. Tomorrow? No! Today! We're part of dead, don't you understand? No, she was not pronounced dead by trauma team. If she'd have had coverage, we wouldn't be talking. And fuck you! If you don't want to move your asses, why don't I come down to the precinct and trash it into bits? Now will you come and arrest me, you pussies? Fine, I don't give a fuck what you write me up for. They'll be here soon. <laughs> Told me to keep her on ice until tomorrow. Can you believe the balls? You know... To you, she was your best friend, so it's a terrible tragedy. But... They must get dozens of calls like this every day. What are you? Their fucking PR rep? No, just saying. Put something on her. I'd rather she look like a person than a body. Could you wait outside? Close the door, V. Please. A cig. Didn't know you smoked. <sighs> Quit. It's been years. But right now I need something besides air in my lungs. Please, V, just one. Here. That was her smoke case. Want to hold on to it? No. You seem to like it. Keep it. Kind of glad it's you that has it, actually. I let her down. I thought if I gave her some t space or time, she'd get back on her feet. Can't wrap my head around it. I never saw Evelyn as the type to give up. Come on. What she went through? I wouldn't call it giving up. Remember Fingers? How he said Evie was with him for four days. Yeah, did say so. She disappeared from clouds a week before you turned up. Tom told me later. Couldn't sleep at night knowing that. Kept thinking, what the hell happened to those other three days? So I did some more digging in her virtues. Found Woodman. He kept her. And had his way with her. The things he did. And once he got bored, he pawned her off. Wait, so you found other recordings? Had another look at the corrupted ones. You know, lots of static. Hard to pick up anything, really. At some point, I... stumbled on something like an echo of the spat we'd had. Last time we saw each other. But I know she wasn't scrolling. Then why was it saved as a virtue? Got no explanation for it. Maybe she recalled it later, relived it, almost. Implant could have been on when, you know, as a defense mechanism. 
escaping into the past so as not to live in the present. What did Woodman do to her? Did you see it? Yeah. And I really wish I could unsee it. I zeroed Woodman. Didn't plan on it. Just how the chips landed. Glad I did, though. Me too. I can't even imagine. Still, it's not enough. There are so many more like him. Gotta be something I can do about it. Like what? Don't know yet. Think I'll call Sue's. Thanks, V. Sorry. But, uh, I'd rather be alone now. Promise to keep in touch. Anything comes up, holler on the hollow. This is Ward. Who am I talking to? Name's V. Looking into the death of one Lucius Rhine. Wonder why? You're not a cop. Listen, I know you tried to warn Rhine about the cyber psycho. What else do you know? How do you best meet with me? All right. I'm headed to Chubby Buffaloes. Be there, stat.
Someone here to see you, looks like. Huh. Wonder what about it. Wanted to talk. You got a minute? You must be V. My partner, Detective Han. Don't make trouble. Be Mind if we step off to the side? Han and me, we're like one mind. Got no secrets. You really intend to work with a merc? Don't know what I intend just yet. For now, I'm gonna see if I hear anything new about Ryan's death. You back on that? Boss already told you to drop it. I can say it again. You know he hates to say things twice. And if you couldn't give a rat's fat ass about any of that, heed my advice. As your friend, just let the case go. See me do anything? Just sitting here, sipping coffee, listening to gossip. Fine. Do what you want. I'm not allowed to be part of this. Gotta go get my little girl anyway. And you two at least find a quieter corner? Wouldn't want to be overheard. Okay. Talk. I see Detective Han's not a fan of edge runners. Don't take it personally. Detective Han's not a fan of anybody. Except his daughter. You wanted to talk? Before the attack, you wanted to talk to Ryan's hustle. Get some info to them. What was it? Let me ask you a question first. Why do you got your nose in this? Who hired you? Liz Perales hired me. And her husband, Jefferson. The presumed future mayor. I guess I could have seen that coming. You know what? Han was right. Acoustics are a little too good in here. Got my car outside. Okay, sure. Some of the boys from the precinct saw Horvath around Arroyo, shooting up dumpsters, hollering how he's got to meet with the mayor. Brought him in. Brought who in? Peter Horvath. Cyber psycho who attacked the mayor later. They took him downtown, but then he got lost before they could get his statement. Said he got lost. How's that happen? What's it mean? It means someone didn't want him counting roaches in a cell that day. Before you ask me, no. I got no idea who. My turn. Why is Perales looking at this now? Why does he want it done unofficial on the Hush Hush? As I see it, Perales is out to smear Holt. So he thinks Holt's involved? No, but even if he's not, the murdered mayor isn't great optics for his deputy. Red Queen's race. Heard anything about it? Know what it is? Maybe I have. Maybe I do. It got anything to do with Ryan? The guy was headed there the day he died. <sighs> Fine. We're gonna see my CI. All I've heard is some fancy-ass club. No idea where to even look for it. CI might know. Then we'll go talk to the woman Horvath worked for. Or actually, we could see her first. Up to you. Let's go see your informer. Club's a better lead. Fine with me.
My guy works here. You go talk to him. I'll wait outside. Tell him Igor says hi. He'll know what it's about. Who is this guy? A proud proprietor. He's got all sorts of clients, and he's nosy as hell. So he knows all about everyone. Plus, he's a coward. A perfect combo. All right, wait here then. You're looking for, uh, general inspiration or something specific? Cause I can help with both. Try ours today. Igor says hi. Fuck no! Said I was done! I was out! Leave me the fuck alone! Hey, Neil. Piss off. Relax. Just got one question to ask you. Nothing to see here, sir. Come on, ghost, I said. Leave me alone, got it? Can't make me do a damn thing. We can, actually, and we will. Just tell us where to find Red Queen's race. I don't know! So fucking remember, and make it quick. All right, Jesus, chill, okay? It's outside city limits, near the river, Benita Street area. You been there? Not telling you another fucking thing. Kiss my ass, both of you. Well, well, that's what I call a breakthrough. Seems promising, but I'd still hit that market. Market? Horvath's employer, one I mentioned before. I just wouldn't let that lead drop. Okay, let's go see this market of yours. We're gonna take my car? Better meet there. Fine with me.
소리가 내릴 경우 토끼 질환이 있으신 분들 야외 경험을 자제해 주시기 바랍니다. supposed to talk to cybercycle's boss you said christine markov 42 file has her as horvath's sole employer sole contact too actually come on v. idea who we're looking for. Gonna have to ask around. I'll start from the left. You take the right. Christine Markov. Know her? Has a stall here. Don't know any Christine. This Christine isn't BD Heads Anonymous. Where will I find her? Christine Markov, we have some questions. You badges? Looking for data on Pater Horvath. Worked here, apparently. Yeah, he did. Then he stopped working, started making fucking speeches all the time. When the weird behavior actually start? When you're talking about Pater, weird doesn't mean what it means for everybody else. Horvath never was completely normal. But the post-jail Horvath versus the pre-jail Horvath? Gonks both, but completely different gonks. Horvath make good scratch here. Could have bought this whole market with the chrome he was packing. <laughs> oh yeah, made scads on scads here. <laughs> Motherfucking millionaire, like we all are. So where do you get the eddies? Know anything? Look, if I knew, I wouldn't be here selling scop to tower trash. I'd get myself an AV, fly my fucking slim ass out of here. Peter showed up one day with all that. Extra worked up, too. Whacked enough that I asked him where he got it. He said somebody finally seen what he was worth. And then he launched right into one of his tirades. These, uh, speeches. What did he have to say? Ryan, corpse got him by the balls and cock, but he still managed to fuck me. His motto. Why'd he have it in for the mayor? Ha! <laughs> Looking for reason in that whack job? Probably thought Ryan was talking to him through the TV, promising all sorts of shit, then ceasing to give a fuck. Look, I told you what I think. In Horvath's world, everybody was out to get him. Lucius Ryan was out to fuck him, then get him. So as Horvath saw it, who else had it in for? Besides Ryan? <laughs> A madam president, mostly. Then Arasaka, the Giza, and when he died, it was his son's turn. Would that be all, detectives? You're spooking my clientele. Somebody'd finally seen what he was worth. Horvath had sponsors. We might have guessed as much. Might seem like we didn't get a lot out of that. Sometimes intel makes sense once you've got some context. Say, for instance, 
Somebody says they got a headache. Minor detail. Means nothing, right? Usually, sure. But then the guy waltzes straight into oncoming traffic. The neighbor remembers someone had worked on the air conditioner in the guy's unit. The guy whose head always hurt. Accident? Coincidence? Or maybe air dispersed poison? A deliberate hit. You actually caught a case like that? No. Made it up. Still proves my point. Oh, great. Let me handle this, V. Step aside, Lug. Your boyfriend got sent up for years. Doubt you want the same. Fuck off, Kitty Claus. V. Fuck off. Let's get this party started! Walking the streets with you? Downright unsafe. Got a beef with all gangs or just the tigers? I'm a cop. What do you think? Uh, gotta report this. Okay. Red Queen's race now. First, I gotta clean up the mess you made. We'll meet there. Considering renting or purchasing a niche for yourself or a loved one? Get in touch with administration at North Oak Columbaria. Well, hey. Animal's turf. Any sly cop rules for talking to them? Scratch their tummies. Don't expose your throat. Ha fucking ha. We're short of warrant, so you're on your own. You find anything, tell me.
Found a side door. Animals are letting their guard down. Probably haven't checked it out in ages. Shoot him! Smash him! Okay. Got spotted! Okay. Hang on, be right there. Oh, nail that fucker to the wall! doesn't tend to lie. Too scared. So, the club's around here somewhere. In the garage, is my guess. Or under it. Nice. Someone really wanted to cover up whatever it was that went down. What should we be looking for? Let's try to find something that looks like an office. Every club has one. I got to do the talking. You're the detective. But I don't have a... A warrant, right. What?
Looks like an office. Sort of. Comps are what we want. Comps above all. Yep. Stiff as a board. You ask me, he's been dead at least an hour. No. No trauma card. Pretty sure he didn't bring it on purpose. A uh, club like this, you don't want TT banging down the door when you're banging away and things start to heat up. Hard, probably. Must have gotten a little too heavy and messy. Okay. Yeah, let's do that. Coroner will find him at home. I'll tell him how to write it up. Died in his sleep, quiet as a baby. Boys are getting him out of here. Of course, nobody will see him. No way. Yep. Yes. All right, I'll buzz you later. Weird. Guy looks familiar, doesn't he? V? I'm not in the mood for jokes. Think we've seen everything we needed to. Let's go. I'm gonna look around some more. Okay. Do what you will. Waste of time as I see it, though. Okay, let's Delta. Think I saw another way out on the way in. Still hanging around with this punk? Shot it, Harold. I know what you did. Not about to ask why you covered it up. Not even why you jumped into this mess to begin with. Just want to know. Who gave you the order? What's the matter, River? Why do you even care? Your conscience is clear. You can sleep tight at night. You know why? Because I took all the responsibility. You got no idea how this city works. Think a goddamn inspirational idealist bullshit actually means something? It doesn't. Never did. Hey, don't look at me that way, Merc. You know I'm right. I know the game NC makes you play. I know the rules. All the tricks in the book. So you ought to know when to get in line. And when you can stick your neck out. Because you stick it out at the wrong time, and there'll always be some shark ready to bite your head off. But there's a line. Not every order's worthy of being followed. Let me tell you when I'll stop doing what I'm told. When I retire. Not a day sooner. Ought to consider doing the same, Ward. V. Appreciate the help. But this isn't your biz. I'll take care of it. How are you gonna do that? Am I under arrest? Got a scroll, got a motive, got your confession. So yeah, you could be. 
but it wouldn't make much sense. You don't even gotta say who ordered you to go and clean up. I know anyway. So, since even our brass's fingers are all over this, I gotta take it to internal. They won't do a thing either. Not to me. They'll put you in their sights, though. Just go home, Ward. Get some sleep. Find all this easier to take in in the morning. I mean, that's my plan. Fuck. <sighs> so, what now? Won't well, let this go. Can't. Holt murdered Ryan. Wanted his seat. All this tritest motive in the book. That's why I believe it. Use the NCPD to cover his tracks. Also think it was Holt. Only one who stood to gain. Chicken this to internal affairs. Got enough to get this case reopened. Do it. And you? Gonna report back to the paralysis? Yep. Okay. I'm gonna stay. Observe a little. Thanks, V. So, about Ryan. Got a pretty good idea what happened. Great. Come by, please. It's a sensitive matter. I'd rather discuss it face to face. We'll be waiting. Hey, Judy. How you feeling? Shitty, but something came to me. So what did you come up with? The Mox dive, Lizzie's bar, used to be a joy house. Tiger Claws killed one girl too many, so people took matters into their own hands. Belongs to us now. Clouds could stand to get the same makeover. Got the Mox to agree to take over Clouds. No, I'm trying to get you. Know someone at Clouds will take our side. Will you help? Fine. Got me on board. Oh, yes. Okay, so, what's the plan? First up, we gotta talk to Michael Maeda. If she's not with us, might as well throw our hands up in the air. Evelyn, Maiko, you seem to know your way around clouds. I used to work there. Helped them out with their behavioral chip, perfecting it. Why'd you leave? Didn't like the vibe. Place reeked of exploitation. You sure Maiko's gonna want to join forces? 
If I was sure, I'd be on the hollow to her and we wouldn't be having this conversation. Let me rephrase. Is there any chance she'll slap us around and shove sure. us out her mega tower window? Of course, sure. Guess I can work with that. When are we doing this? Early morning. Clouds will be closed. Hardly a soul lurking at that time. How early? Before eight. I'll be by the entrance. No, scratch that. The balcony above clouds. We'll sneak in. No one needs to know we're there. On the balcony. Got it. Thanks. Just gonna tell you one thing. I'm listening. Don't tell him nothing. Don't get involved. This muck is deeper than you think. Suck you in if you're not careful. If I don't give them something, they're not gonna pay me. We'll manage without that. There's no sense in which you gotta eat. Fine, do whatever the fuck you want. Not like you listen anyway. Hello, V. Please, come in. Make yourself at home. Jefferson will join us shortly. Please, have a seat. Thank you. Good to see you, V. Elizabeth tells me you have answers for us. I'm all ears. The case is pretty complex. It leaves a lot of questions unanswered. I'd rather not draw any conclusions yet. But you must have an opinion. Jeff, honey, read between the lines. The case is complicated, but dying at home of a cardiac malfunction, that's not complicated. So we were right? Yes. And that's enough for me. We have to be careful. Very careful, Jeff. That's what V's trying to tell us. Thanks for your help, V. Your fee. You two watch out for each other. Hey there. Now, where did we leave off?
story on a breaking story. A Ken Tau AD has crashed outside of Night City. The aircraft's thrusters were deactivated by sudden EMP discharge from a nearby damaged power station in Santa Domingo. The emergency landing attempt proved unsuccessful. The passengers who survived the crash landing were met by a band of nomads. Fortunately, Ken Tau's surviving security personnel Hey, V. Thanks for showing. Talking with Michael is like a game of 3D chess. Don't let her derail you. Care to be a bit more specific? Wouldn't mind knowing what to expect. Expect everything. Miss a beat, she'll wrap you around her finger. Get you on her agenda while thinking you're the one in control. Ooh. <laughs> Guess I know the type. You seem a bundle of nerves. I have a mind to kill the bastards with my bare hands. So yeah, you could say I'm a teensy bit nervous. I'm ready. Let's go. Hold on. I'll open it. Lock like that? No way you cracked it open on your first try. You know how to get around their systems? Appears so. I was hoping they hadn't run any updates since I left. Looks like I was right. Easy as paella. Follow me. Judy Alvarez. I'd say it's great to see you, but I've never been one to lie. Also, I never like surprise parties, but you know. Yup, bet I even know why. Thought you'd hit rock bottom when you joined the mocks. Guess you've managed to stoop even lower now. You somehow never fail to lower my expectations. First you settle for the mocks, now murderers. I shudder to think what's next. Yes, V. I mean you. Sounds like I left a mark on this place. Good. If by mark you mean buckets of blood, then yeah, congrats. Don't mind me. Just here to blend into the decor. That's no reason. Why come at all? To make sure Judy gets what she came for. Jude would have had a better chance without you. Starting to think blowing hot air is all you're good at. A pathetic attempt at getting under my skin. What's next? Threats? Well, can't ever rule violence out. You two done bickering over diddly squat. Cause if you are, I'd like to get down to biz. Here's the thing. Literally in moments, security will figure out you're here. Got two options. Go out the way you came in, or get thrown out. And don't get me wrong, Jude. I'd gladly sit and catch up. Been quite a while since we last talked. But you're not safe here at Clouds. Especially not with him at your side. Had enough. I'm leaving. Smart move.
You picked the wrong side, Maiko. I'll be the judge of that. I'm not your enemy here. And I didn't ask for your opinion. That went smoothly. She didn't even let me make my point. Don't worry. She put on an act. She needed to show who's boss. We took her by surprise. She couldn't do anything but throw us out. She'll call soon enough and ask what we actually wanted. You might be onto something. have a history way back yeah i think i just felt lonely like everyone in night city she was different then and so was i can't trust people that see everything as a numbers game the line between patting you on the back as their friend and planting a knife in you as their enemy is down to a decimal i know right there with you i well, used to have a big crush on her. Took me a long time to realize who she really was. But still, honest or crooked, we need her. Just think, could have gone diving this morning. A little unwinding do you good. Do me good too, actually. I wouldn't have been unwinding, not exactly. Got an idea buzzing in my head, working it, but I can't say if it'll amount to anything. Yeah. You, a deck chair, and a Mai Tai with a cocktail umbrella? Somehow I don't see it. No. Me in a deck chair is me mulling over coulda, shoulda, wouldas. Something I avoid right now. the ground floor to get out of this place. Welcome to M54 News. I really don't understand what tits have to do with selling that garbage. Can't say no to tits. Rest can go fuck itself. Second you react with your dick, steady your head, you give them exactly what they want. Does it look like I give a shit? Doesn't matter. They already flushed one down your brain. Hibernation implants. The miners were able to survive without access to food and fresh water for two weeks. Fortunately, after their rescue. I get back to Maiko with something big. Appealing to her sense of justice wasn't big enough? Maiko only works with specifics. So, what now? Gotta think. We need more bodies, that's for sure. I'm gonna talk to the dolls. 
I'll call you when I've got something. See you later, V. And thanks. Hi! You there! You there! Mysterious stranger! Yoo-hoo! Yeah, you! There any other mysterious stranger around here? You know what? How about I tell you a joke? Okay, uh, what's going on? Hey there, stranger! I'm Brendan, your friendly neighborhood SCSM, and the nicest AI in all of Night City. You can select from a wide range of beverages, or just drop by for a chat, anytime. Now it's your turn. What's your name? Why am I talking to a schism? <laughs> My name is V. Pleasure to meet you, V. Do you come here often? Uh, pretty often, as a matter of fact. I'm sorry. Did I correctly hear you ask if I wanted to join you for a cup of coffee? Um, no. Oh, well, that's okay. Because you can have one now. And just to clarify, we don't have to move an inch. How do you take it? Milk? Sugar? Okay, you got me. I'm sold. Sold? Nothing's gonna be sold here. Because you know what? I'm gonna give you a can of Night Cola for free. Thanks. Brennan, right? <laughs> That's right! Gosh, it's so cool you remembered. Even for a simple SCSM. Cool. So, did you want something from me? Oh, yes. Well, I do apologize for taking advantage of you at this early stage in our friendship. But, could I ask you for a favor? What happened? See that container in front of me? It's completely blocking my view of the street, depriving an SCSM of its greatest pastime. Could you move it a bit to the side? I'll reward you with my undying gratitude, even though technically I don't stock that. I'll see what I can do. V? Boy, are you strong! Here, have a refreshing beverage. On me. Catch you later, Brendan. Catch me? Why? <gasps> Will I be falling? It's just something you say as a way of goodbye. Oh, I get it. I mean, I don't, because catching has nothing to do with goodbyes, but... <laughs> oh well. Don't humans say the darndest things? Catch you later, V. <laughs> what a neat phrase. You wish. Ich bin